Philly First 48, y'all know what it is. Season two, this episode four. We got my four. man Johnny Mac. What's up? We got Sayola. The litigator, Asan Bennett. Who is our special guest? Talk to him, brother. It's Face. Oh, y'all know man. what's going on. We in the man. building, man. We report in live. The location today is Burger Lane, man. Burger Lane. Shout out, Shout out, out to Mont. New Lane, man. Shout out to Mont. Shout out to Ben. Make sure y'all stop by us on Broad Man. Street. Make sure y'all stop by and get yourself some of that good, good burger. Oh, yeah, pop yourself some of that Cas Casamigo uh, slushy water ice, whatever it is. Go and get yourself Cas some of that. Casamigo. Casamigo. <laughs> man, I don't know how to pronounce nothing, man, you know. It just came out the pen, man. I respect no, I, that. It's it been a little while now. I should know better. He just don't drink that much. It's okay. What's up with you, man? Talk to us. Man, we out here working, man. I'm out here. I've been seeing y'all on the live. I love the growth of our city right now. Uh, Everybody we appreciate working. appreciate it, my G. And on a professional level, I love that shit because that's all we needed was that that guidance to get us out those basement studios and really start mixing and mastering and perfecting our craft because we always had the ball. We well, had the ball for, for many years. For all those that don't know don't what know. you do, let them know what you do. Let them know your claim to fame. Well, my, my, main, my main claim was first rapping and producing and writing, but I just picked up a new talent as of a year ago a couple, like last month, it marks a year I've been a DJ. Oh, and um, what's I start, your song? Well, my song right now, my current song right now is uh, Break Your Back and Snapping. Mm. Like, That's my shit. all the clubs is, is going stupid with that shit right now. And That's what you just dancing off when we was down in LA? <laughs> no, it was like four wings, four wings, four wings. Yeah, and, and that's. Is the one you don't know. That's no, all wings, uh, shrimp fried no, rice, up. pink lemonade. Oh, please, that shit been popping for the last two years. No, it wasn't. This shit got fucking ten years yeah. plus running. What are you Bro. talking about? All right, chill. Okay. No, I told you. I knew you were gonna do some nice shit. Two years later, bro. I told you when I first was in the county, bro. Like you tripping? Why are you saying me though? I couldn't. You said two years. Like I couldn't say you with that, man. You finally know something, man. Sayola on board. What's up, man? Don't play with it. I stay with it. You know. Yeah. All right, but fun fact: the record that I got popping today, "Break Your Back," I made that as a follow-up single. Mm -hmm. For Four Wings. That means that song that all y'all dancing to today, I made that song 10 years ago. Wow. And if you go on YouTube and type it in, you'll see the, the marker on it that says when it was made. But mm -hmm. at the time, everybody was so hype off of Four Wings, Shrimp Fire Right. They like, they kind of ignored my follow up single. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Damn, like this shit fire. Like for years, I'm like, yo, why is they not catching the heat? And my, I got one French out, Willie Esco in the furniture store. He always told me, yo, I like all your other shit. This a hit. He always tell me, put that, put that old joint. This a hit. Yo, you need to DJ. We be in the crib chilling, kicking back. Bitch, come over. I'm, I'm, I'm DJing off the phone and shit. You know, aux core shit. Yo, yo, your song selection is crazy. You need to DJ. But I'm like, ah, I left that to my brother. My brother DJ Damage. Mm -hmm. So I, I never stepped in it. Mm -hmm. but so listen, how was it growing up, your brother a DJ, you a rapper. Like how did, like, so when you first, like how that come about? Like how that, was that, like, you know what I mean? Like how that come about growing up? We, and DJ Damage, you know, he one of the hottest in the city at one point in time. Yeah. Yes, he was. You know what I mean? So the, the plan was we, post, we both was a rap. We we started a group called Stay With It. It was like a record label entertainment company. And he got accepted to Temple. I was living in Atlanta at the time. And I moved back up and we was like, yo, we going we gonna to lock down the campus. Like we going to throw parties, we going to DJ. We was following basically um, Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff. Like, yo, because he tried to rap, but he was just like, I don't got it like you. But he was like, but dig this, I'm going to be your DJ. When he said that, I said, Ooh. Yeah. He was like saying this shit, but we over the phone. When I come back up, this nigga got turntables, crates of records. I said, "Oh, you not playing?" Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. So 
I was like, all right, I'm going to support this because when he plays, if he can play my music, then we all win. Right. So I started backing him through his DJ career. I'm carrying crates in the party, and I was his host. Damn. I'm on the mic. Drop that shit. Pop uh -huh. that shit. And I became a crazy host just Damn. shadowing him. And y'all know his legacy, what he did in the city. Yeah, man. I made four wings wow. at the Chinese store, just on some drunk shit. <laughs> She's like, what you want, what you want? I'm like, boom, boom, I'm beating on the glass. Let me get four wings, shrimp fried rice, homemade lemonade. Could you please add? Everybody in the store like, oh, that shit got rocket. So did they give you that order? Yeah, they gave me my order. <laughs> I got, yo, I got to the crib. My man's was like, dog, that shit from last night, I ain't forget about that, dog. You got to lay that. There ain't no doubt. I'm, all right, bet. Well, I had a home studio, literally a mattress up type studio. Laid that shit, called Shorty from across the street. Say, hey, boy, poke a hole in my top. She did it. Shout out to Diamond. <laughs> I put that shit on MySpace. Damn. Man, brrr, numbers going up, going no up. No promotion. I ain't paid for shit. Then it transferred over to Facebook, started transferring, going crazy on the on the book. I'm like, I'm spitting real shit at the time. I'm trying to be one of them hit fools, spin the block pop. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, y'all like this, like yeah, like that shit crazy. But like, you never know what's going to blow. So that shit went crazy. I shot a little video for it. Shout out to Malik Spy. He shot the video for a project. He went to Temple too. I tapped in and like, like, yo. Pause. If y'all want to really take y'all brand to another level, tap into the college kids. These dudes are going to school no doubt. for marketing. They're going to school for camera work, no. music, all that shit. All my network was college kids that I didn't know. Mm. I just hung out there and met these people. They shot my videos. They did my artwork. They did like my marketing, my oh. photo shoots. Mm -hmm. All Temple students. So how, and like, where did you go to search for them? I went to Temple, mm -hmm. up the street. I'm from 12th in Indiana. Mm -hmm. I went up the block. My brother went to school. I was sitting in classes with 30 kids. They don't know I don't go there. I'm picking up game. I'm crying. I'm picking up game. I'm in school. With, I'm walking in the classrooms and sitting down. It's 60 kids in the room. Learning that if you want to save your camera, put it on the floor. Don't sit it on something. Nothing can fall on the floor. Wow. That's something I learned from a college kid class, like little shit like that. I was just picking up game. And Man. then I found out about publishing. I found out about writing. Well, one, yeah. of the, one of the things you say not to cut you off, you said you, you had uh, water bands off of that song. Explain to people. Like, how? Again, what I was saying, I found out about publishing, writing. I got my song, got my song was so popular outside my brother getting on radio as the young air, youngest on air DJ at the time. Like the city, what they literally getting calls. Yo, can you play a song that they don't know about? They had to put it with in with radio terms they call testing. So they tested my record. They sent it out to a bunch of other networks. It came back good. They put me in rotation. I was in rotation on Radio One at the time. It was Hot 97 mm -hmm. in Philly, Hot 107.9, I think, for two years. I'm getting played after Chris Brown's, Rihanna's. My song is in the mix. Whether you call or not, it's in the computer to play. That's Shout out rotation. The beat. Shout out to That's, the beat, yeah, the, one, the beat, all of them. Mm. That's what, like, brought in that, mm. not that get money in your sleep type mm. shit. Like, mm. every time the song got played, I was getting paid. Ain't no doubt. So, Ain't no. I was top of that, I'm doing... Sweet 16s, I'm doing block parties, I'm out there, I'm running it up, doing the show money 